When I think of Chelsea Football Club, I think of Peter Cech, John Terry, Frank Lampard, but most importantly, Didier Drogba. This club's best striker ever that I have seen play for them was Didier Drogba, the man from the Ivory Coast, combined power, finishing ability, and just an insane mentality up top. A never give up attitude that I want to go ahead and bring back into this Chelsea football club because right now as we speak, Paul Palmer is the one that keeps on saving Chelsea in their biggest moments. And today, we are going to be becoming a youth academy talent at Chelsea Football Club to run the club for years to come. But first, we gotta start really small. I'm proud to be a midget. Nicholas Jackson, I'm sorry, but at one point, I will replace you. And the way this will work is we're gonna go into the youth academy and look for the lowest rated striker we can find there. Now, in this specific case, I don't want to be Daniel Pichler. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be sending the scout to, of course, you know it. We're going to be sending the scout, the only one that Chelsea has, a four-star, four-star scout across to the Ivory Coast to look for a physically strong striker. And after a month of scouting, whoever is the lowest rated striker we find, that's the one whose career we're going to take over. I like the sound of that. As we get there, let me just tell you that there will be challenges that we will be taking on as we step through the career of this man. We are going to be playing one game every single season. And if we do score or get an assist, we are allowed to give ourselves a plus 10 on any of his stats. And of course, at the end of the season, there will be one objective that we'll be chasing down in order to get ourselves a playstyle plus. Now, let's begin with this scout report that's coming in. Every single one will be signed with immediate effect. And the question is, which one of these lads are we going to be? It's going to be the lowest rated one. Keep that in mind. So let's go into the Youth Academy and find out who is the lowest rated striker. Sanogo, you are not the one. Dumbia, 41 rated. Ibrahim Dumbia, 16 years old. That is the one and potentially the lowest rated player we have ever done a career with. But lads, that's the one we're going to take over. And it takes him 13 weeks weeks to get to his uh, freaking next rating. He has a one-star weak foot and three-star skill moves. Ibrahim Dumbia, lads, I cannot wait to see how your career is going to go. And this time, actually, we'll be able to change his haircut and everything, make it a bit more fun. My first game ever will be against Luton Town as the new number nine. But most importantly, we have given the man a unique haircut as you can tell, sadly, this is something that you guys cannot unlock. So, as always, your boy is using the cheat engine to make the man stand out. Dumbia. Oh my god. Did you see that first touch? That possibly has to be the worst first touch I've ever seen. Galaga. He's open. Finds Dumbia. He shoots for the first time. Oh my god, dude. That is terrible. Please don't ever shoot again if you're going to do it like that. What is that? He's not even looking on the target. So after 66 minutes, Pochettino has seen enough and our journey here ends for now. But one day we will return to Chelsea and become a legend. But right now, the question is, what is our first proper club that we get loaned out to? On transfer deadline day, Ibrahim Dumbia is moving to Cork City. Now, you might be wondering, who the hell is Cork City? Well, this is a team from Ireland. Yes, we had to do it. We are going to one of the worst leagues out there. And still, there's a massive gap between our players rating, which is a 41, and the rest of all of them. So let's see how this goes as we join this team. He's the only striker. And he has the trickster play style already. Okay, I didn't see that initially. So we are the only striker in the team, which means they have to play us. And for the first couple of seasons, especially the first one, we're giving ourselves a seasonal goal of going ahead and getting five goal contributions. That's it. And we get to play one game. And this is something that people pointed out that I didn't even pay attention to before. Right now, any team I go to, I will put all the best coaches into the attack. So we have ideal growth 
for our player. I just realized that in Ireland, again, the league works differently. It ends in December and we are now in December and we are in the eighth position in the league and we have one game to play and that is going to be against Lijo Rovers. Never heard of that team. This is going to be fun and our player is at a 43 rating already. As we are about to step onto the pitch for the first time away from Chelsea, out on loan in Ireland, I want to know from you guys in the comments down below, if you could choose to become a Youth Academy talent at any club, let me know which one you think would be the one for you. But let's do this, let's step onto the pitch and ideally get a goal contribution to get a plus 10 on maybe finishing. Yes, go, don't be on the run. Can you do it? 43 rated. Go on, son. Shoot. <laughs> he hit the target for the first time in his career. Dombia has managed to shoot on target. Unbelievable. We have to celebrate that as if that was his birthday or something. Move. Yes. Dombia is part of this attack. I love it. All the way to Dombia again. He's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Go on, son. Oh, my. Bro, he's trash. Ooh, ooh, big mistakes were made. Come on. Dumbia, can you assist maybe? What is that? Maybe he wants to cross here. Go on, son. He scores on a volley. <laughs> can you imagine? 74th minute. Dumbia scores his first career goal and it could lead to three points for Cork City. Last game of the season, the lad steps up and gets himself a plus 10. Let's take a look at this once more. The cross is whipped in and he just shoots. He goes for it. And you know what? Maybe that's when it's better, when he doesn't have to think of what to do. Just take the shot. Maybe a bit like Davi Nunez. I cannot believe I'm seeing this. The guy actually only has 30 finishing, but thanks to the great performance that he just had. He goes up to a 44 because I was able to give him plus 10 on his finishing, making it 40. As we end the season with Dumbia, let's see if he has gotten five goal contributions. If he has, camera, ca camera, bro. Are we having these issues again? What is going on, buddy? Let's go ahead and take a look at this. If he has five goal contributions, that means we get to give him a playstyle plus. Only plus three so far because it has only been half a season since he's been here. He came in in the summer and now it's December. But only one goal contribution. I fired every striker from the club. How did he not get the play time? Even then, they probably were like, oh, you know what? Let's play a center back at striker instead. And you know what, lads? We're going to be sticking around at Cork City for another season. Where should we go with this Oh, low of a rating? I want to stick around here for a full year. So in total, it will be one and a half years of playing at Cork City. We are firmly in the ninth position in the league. Just one of the worst teams. And we are going to be playing against Derry City. First place. The reason behind that is last time around, I scored. So why not do it or try and do it against the best team in the league? As we are about to step onto the pitch, though, keep one thing in mind. We are now... 52 rated so this could be a good one good steal off we go go on don't be a why am i doing that that's on me yeah i'm trash too as much as i tried lads it didn't happen and we might even lose against this side right here if we don't pay attention and we do well that is a sad ending to our career at cork city so many chances wasted. No plus 10 this time. The season has now officially finished. Cork City in the ninth position. And a big question now is, has our guy gotten five goal contributions? Let's see. Has he at least played when we were simulating? First of all, Dumbia is on a 53 rating as he ends his career at Cork City, which is decent. That will allow us to put him into a different league where once again, he might start off 10 points away from the rest of the team, but still might be good enough to actually play and get that play time. So here we are. 17, Ibrahim Dumbia, my guy. 17 goals and two assists. This time he actually did play. Congratulations, buddy. Now I will give you a play style and hopefully will help you with your terrible finishing. It just has to be finesse shot plus, lads. When we get into a 1v1 situation again, now I'm just going to hold down the finesse shot button and instantly it should be a goal. 
not guaranteed because the guy still has only what? 46 finishing. Going from one of the worst teams in Ireland to currently the best team in India, Mumbai City. We are joining them right now as a 53 rated player to get our career going to a stage where we can go back to Europe and perform and showcase Chelsea. There is a talent that we're building here that we might want to keep a closer eye on. Also, as his career progresses, we're going to go with different boots. These ones were the ones that he initially had, and now he's stepping up to Umbros or Umbros, however you want to say it. But at least these ones kind of fit the kit as well. So let's run it. Here's the catch with Mumbai and the Indian League. They played the regular schedule. And since we just came from Ireland, we basically joined Mumbai halfway through the season. And right now we are at the end of the actual season and i didn't play a single game and the reason behind that is i already played a game technically this year so i didn't want to touch anything first season or first half season at mumbai city we joined it came in in sixth place which obviously isn't great so next season the target is going to be to finish up much higher at least get into the top four with the side but let's see how our player has done and if he has gotten 10 goal contributions as that is the next goal for the playstyle plus so here we go. Has he even played? Don't be on a 56 right now. A minus one on him there. Oh, yeah. He went up to a 57. I had to downgrade him again to a 53. Once he joined Mumbai, things were glitching. So he went from a 53 to a 56 in half a season and only managed to get two goal contributions, which isn't enough for an upgrade in play style. So now our full first proper season at Mumbai City. Well, the season at Mumbai ain't going too great. Our team is outside of the top four and now we're taking on the top play squad, which is Goa. So let's see what Dumbia can do. He is now 60 rated. Yes, our boy is getting better. Nice steal. Go on, send him on a run. Dumbia, nice turn. Shot. Oh my God, bro. I need to finesse. Stop shooting regularly. It's still terrible. Gonna be looking for Dumbia here. The cross is whipped in right towards him. He hits it on the volley and it goes in. This keeper sucks. Thank God for that. 63rd minute. The man has scored more volleys than regular shots. That's what he's doing. And lads, he is massive on this pitch. For whatever reason, I didn't realize that when we played in Ireland. But playing in India right now, he seems huge. So, lads, that is a plus 10. And I will take that all day. The best number nine that he's being built in football right now is Ibrahim Dumbia. The man right now has 56 finishing. Let's change that instantly. It gives him a plus two. Okay, so he has gone from 56 finishing, as you can see, to 66, which gives him a plus two overall. And honestly, by the end of the season, there could be a chance that we might be good enough for a much better league in Europe. So the season is done. We were not part of the finals here in the ISL. We actually came in that eighth position, which is such a letdown. I didn't think Mumbai City would be that bad, but hey, it happened. Maybe the squad just wasn't good enough this time around. But the lovely thing is that Dumbia is now a 64 rated player by the end of this season. Let's see if he has gotten 10 goal contributions. If he has, we can give him a nice little playstyle plus. First of all, the fact that he has gotten a plus 8 is crazy to me. Love that. Maybe it's the new boots. But he has, yes, he has 12 goal contributions. And now, with that being said, I actually want him to be amazing in the air. As we all know, Drogba was crazy good at that especially that goal against Bayern Munich which forever will hurt my heart I still remember that one in the Champions League where he heads it so powerfully that no one has a chance to stop it so Dumbia let's get you a power header pal and here it is he has the power header plus now maybe at some point I'll give him aerial as well so he completely dominates in the air but man, now that he's, that he's a 64 rated player, I actually wonder where to go. A lot of opportunities now opening up for sure. The time has come to join a European side that I decided to run with Bodo Glimt. Yes, this is a Norwegian side that currently sits at the top of the league in Norway. And they have now signed Ibrahim Dumbia. His career is now kickstarting at this squad. Lad is 64 rated and he's 
I never realized he was six foot seven. How did I not see that until now? Well, that's because you're an idiot. Half a season in, Dumbia is already at a 68. And once again, we have joined a league that has the schedule all mixed up. So we only have half a season here at Bodo Glimt. After that, I'm joining a league that's just regular. Why are you guys trying to be special by changing the schedule? I get it. It's the weather and everything. But still, Dumbia on a 68. And most importantly, it is a battle at the top of the league. Bodo Glimt against Rosenborg first against second. We will be stepping onto the pitch. And since we only have half a season that we played over here, the goal is for our boy to get 10 goal contributions in half a season. We'll see how that goes as we take a look at his performances so far. Nine. Wow. Okay. So he has 25 appearances, nine goals. Which means if I step onto the pitch and get another goal, that's 10 and another play style. I want him to be dominant in the air, so I'm going for aerial. Now that we're playing on European soil, the lads at Chelsea should be watching our game for sure. Let's see if we can get something done and then get an even bigger move after just half a season in Norway. I press this on. Yes, let's go. Let's go. Yes! Let's go, Dumbia! My guy scores in the biggest game of the season. When he's on his knees, he's just as tall as these other lads standing. How did I not recognize? Oh, wow. Dude, that is sick. Why don't I get that much more often? Love the fact that they have flares going. EA, add more of that stuff. So there we are with Dumbia on 57 dribbling. And that, my friends, is about to change. We are also giving him that play style because we got him that one goal that he needed to get to 10. So the team won the game 2 0 in the end. He has gone up to a 69 rating. His dribbling has gone up to a 67 because it was atrocious so far. And the lad has aerial plus. Now, things are getting interesting. Six foot seven, aerial plus, finesse shot plus power header plus this could potentially turn out to be the most dominant player who we have ever controlled celtic football club do you need a new striker do you need someone that will get you titles back to back yes i am here to stick around at celtic for two seasons i'm committing dumbia's career to celtic for two years lads he will become a legend here. Take a look at the squad that he is joining into. Palma on the left, Kuhn on the right, McGregor with Lovrich in the middle. We have Kwon Hyok Yu in the mid uh, in the midfield to finish off that one, and then we have Kartavikas, Johnston, Navroki, Tavares who has joined them, and then a the goalkeeper. Ooh, Benitez. Let's go. That team is going to be great, but that man is going to be even better. The goal is to get 15 goal contributions this time around as we get a full season here in Scotland. In the first season right here, you can see Celtic in second and Rangers in first. That is upsetting. In the second stage in the championship group, we are still far behind them. But you know what is painful? Them losing against Celtic. So we're going to step up last game of the season and we're going to take on Rangers. The question is, is our team good enough? We have Dumbia now on a 73 rating. And all I want to do is to cross the ball to him and dominate. Uh-oh. That is not a good start. Oh, wow. Rangers take the lead. This is a game at their home ground, which makes it even more important for us to go ahead and get a dub. But man, that is a horrid start for us. Nah. I'm actually getting destroyed, getting ripped apart by Rangers, man. I'm giving it my best, but bro, Danilo has been on fire today. I'm getting rinsed. Wow. That's 3-0 it is. Rangers win. Not just this game, but also the title, which means there is something personal about this now. Danilo scores a hat-trick while Dumbia does nothing. We can't be having that. Another season at Celtic must come around. And let's see, actually, by the end of the season... If Dumbia does get a play style plus because he needs 15 goal contributions here. The boy has actually managed to get 23 goals plus four in terms of growth and no finishing plus 10 or anything like that because I didn't manage to score in that game. But he will get another play style plus and that one, the one that I've chosen this time, 
is rapid yes guys rapid plus has come in now he should be even more unstoppable i actually don't know what rapid plus does like does it actually increase his pace i really hope it does otherwise it would make no sense we already have 79 maybe that takes us to 90 something but dumbia you gotta stick around for one more season he can't be having celtic in a second position and losing to rangers like that oh how the turntables take a look at that celtic at the top of the league at the end of the season and in the second stage dominated as well 89 points let's we have won the scottish championship in our second season with dumbia and turned everything around but there is one game to be played a massive cup final celtic versus rangers may 2028 this is the moment we have come to and dumbia my friends is 81 rated as we take on our opponents this is going to be some matchup he will have to prove himself on the highest level dumbia if you do well in this match you will get that plus 10 you will get another play star plus but most importantly it will be the time for your return to chelsea so one last time celtic against rangers let's get revenge pass a move dumbia pass a move dumbia oh yes let's go buddy this is your chance to shine a regular shot that finally goes in it's 1-0 19 minutes in a plus 10 is secured but most importantly the honor of celtic has been restored right now i'm gonna try and keep scoring more though i'm not done rangers and by the way what kind of ugly kits are those why does ranger wear this weird orange and blue i didn't know they had an away kit like that or third kit whatever it is don't do that again Oh, okay. Well, they haven't given up. They have not. Lads, this Ranger side. <laughs> it's a toughie. I'll admit, first game we got crushed. Second game, I'm thinking, oh, yes, we're winning this easy. And instantly they respond. How does he do that? I can't believe it. There is no way we are actually down 2-1. Bro, this game is so important to me. I do not want to lose this. Wait for me. There is space now opening up. There we go. McGregor. It's deflected and in. 2-2. The comeback through the captain. Let's keep it up. Oh, no. No. Please. I can't believe it. Go on, Kuhn. Go on, Kuhn. Please. You got to be scoring that. Yeah. Let's go, dude. What is this game? This game is nuts. 3-3. Three, three, four minutes to go. Where is he running? What is he doing? <laughs> Palmer cuts in. Needs help. Finds Dumbia. 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 Become a hero. Become a legend. It is extra time. There's still plenty of time to go. But still, he steps up when needed the most. It's 4-3. Hey, Rangers, you might have won 3-0. But, bro, this game... It's worth a lot more. This will mean so much to the fans. The roller coaster of emotions is unbelievable. Nah, this ain't happening. What is my keeper doing? Bro, is your job a keeper or are you like a striker and letting everything through that comes across? What the hell beneath this, man? Don't be a back into Kuhn. Oh my god, 121st minute. If this works out, I'm laughing. He cuts in and he doesn't take the shot. It's going to penalties, bro. What is going on? This season has taken up so much screen time. Home. Got him right. Of course he saves it, man. I hate penalty shootouts. Benitez, do something for God's sake. Yes. Shaw. Down the center. Easy. Easy. Now, we move. Raskin. Down the middle. Down the middle. Sure. Yes. I got it. I reacted late, but I got it. I wanted to stay down the middle, to be honest with you. Tune, big one. 4-1. Come on. Save this. They need to save this and be a hero. Oh my god, what a freaking penalty. Please tell me Dumbia is number five. He's not. Why is he not number five? McGregor. Down the middle, it's done on penalties. Guys, this season has been crazy. 
we are able to give him a plus 10 and a play style. Dumbi and Celtic have done the comeback. The revenge is completed. Now we can join Celtic. Ah, Chelsea. <laughs> oh, and to finish up this season, I have given this man something very important, and that is heading accuracy. It was on 70, I upgraded that to 80, and we have given him the press proven plus because that play style can be very good in tight areas. And Dumbia, the giant that he is, we might need that. So now let's return to Chelsea as an 82 rated player. The return is complete. The next Drogba, Dumbia, is now here. And you can barely see the guy because he's such a giant. And alongside him, Pochettino returns to Chelsea as well. Yes, Harry Kane plus 60 million it took to bring him over here. Harry Kane obviously very old at this stage, but lads, one thing I realize is that his pace has been always stuck at 79. I need to work on that. But we are looking at a player with five star, five star on him. We are looking at a player that has finesse, sharp power header, rapid, press proven, aerial, all play style pluses, and a Chelsea side with Nkunku at Cam, with Riquelme at left midfield, Cole Palmer at right midfield, Ezequiel Palacios next to Enzo Fernandez, the Argentine midfield of dreams, defensively Caduolu, Pacho, Araujo, Gusto and Grego Kobel complete the side with a bunch of great players on the bench. So now the question is, what can we achieve with Dumbia now back at Chelsea? The Premier League title and most importantly the Champions League trophy is something that we need to go for. The energy of that Celtic game really had me going and for some reason I completely forgot that I was supposed to play a game this season as well. So sorry about that. No game from this season, but take a look at the league table. We are in that second position, just one point behind Manchester City and Dumbia has led the line in scoring goals. Now for him to get another play star plus from this point on because he's 88 rated, I'm expecting 30 goal contributions at least. So let's see how this lad is looking in terms of his rating. 89 pace, yes. Pace has been worked on. 87 shooting, 81 dribbling, 84 physicality. And maybe another play style comes in later on. A couple of players in the team have grown, which is a good thing. So let's take a look at it. It's like he's listening to me. Yo, Dumbia. Can you hear this mic? What is going on here? The man has gotten exactly 30 goal contributions. And at this stage... I'm just sat there thinking, what kind of play style can actually make him better from this point on? I'm thinking about one specific one. So there it is. It's Quick Step Plus. That plus Rapid, bro, no one should be able to stop this guy. Six foot seven with all those play styles. Yeah, no one's stopping him. It has been quite an interesting year here at Chelsea as we do get past Atletico Madrid 6-3 on aggregate to step up against Arsenal 2-1 and... 6-1. That was the semi-final. I wonder how many goals Dumbia has managed to score as we do get to play against Manchester City in the final, which is going to be massive. And by the way, Liverpool and Arsenal losing in the Premier League. What are we thinking? What's going to happen now that Manchester City possibly is just going to run away with it? Let me know who you think is going to win the Prem at this moment. But lads, let's go ahead and take a look at our team and how we have done in the Premier League. Chelsea second to West Ham. What? How? How is that a thing? How does West Ham win the league ahead of us? Oh my god, that is insane. Well, we have Dumbia on a 92 rating. 90 pace, 90 shooting, 82 dribbling, 87 physicality. The man who is 6 foot 7 now will lead the line, just like Drogba back in the day in a Champions League final. And that is going to be a very fun thing to watch as we step onto the pitch with the giant himself and... We also have to see his numbers. His numbers are looking like this. 34 goals, zero assists. The man does not care about any of his teammates. He goes for goals and that's what we are after anyways because he wanted a striker. We wanted to be Drogba. We wanted to be a dominant force and now we have become exactly that for Chelsea as we get the opportunity to play against Manchester City. Haaland against Dumbia. This is perfect. Well, that is not the start you want. No way. 
That's too easy. Run. Ooh, ref. What the hell? That was not a foul from Haaland? That is not the Haaland Roy Keane was talking about. Oh, no way. The amount of times this keeps happening. You think I'm doing this stuff on purpose? Haaland always scores against me. He keeps going. It's 2-0, 35 minutes in. Lads, it's all falling apart. Dumbia, if you ever had an incredible game in you, I need it to pop up right now. Lovely. Good header. Straight away into Enzo Fernandez. Enzo Fernandez. Enzo Fernandez. Where's that pace coming from? He's looking for Nkunku. Nkunku. Now, utilizing his pace to his advantage. And the comeback is on. 55 minutes in. Nkunku sprints through. It's 2-1 for Chelsea. Uh, not for Chelsea. For City. But at least there is a chance. 90th minute. Come on, get the freaking ball, man. Yes. Lob it up to the big man. He wins that with ease. Nkunku. Big man on the run. Dumbia. 90 plus 2. If you ever needed to step up, now's the moment, Dumbia. Now's the moment. Dumbia. <laughs> yes. Just like Drogba against Bayern Munich, we needed a savior. And there he is. He steps up in the biggest moment once again. Dumbia, you are the king of Chelsea. You are the one that these fans have been waiting for. Oh my god, bro. This, this guy's career has definitely been the most emotional. What the hell are these games? I need to make some massive changes. Our team is tired and I have amazing players on the bench. Oh no, I did not just do that. I did not just do that. <sighs> Bring on some subs, man. What are you doing? What are you doing? Honestly, this is your moment, Dumbia. Yes, Dumbia, jump higher than anyone else. My God. Win that, win that. Yes, it is mine. Off we go with Malo Gusto. Last minute, 120. If this is it, this is it. If there was ever a moment to score, it's this. It's this. <laughs> yes, Cole Palmer. 3-3. Three, three. It's done. Take me to penalties. Haaland, you ain't scoring on me twice. Cole, you just scored. Can you do it again? Yes, he can. It's Williams. Who is this Williams guy? He scores. Of course, perfect penalty taken. I hate it. Enzo Fernandez. Enzo Fernandez. Adam right. He's going to save it. <sighs> that is such a bad pen. Bruno G. Bruno G. Kobe. Let's go. Angelo. I don't even know if, if Dumbia is taking a penalty, by the way. I didn't pay any attention. Phil Foden. To the right. No. To the left. And he scores. He actually scores. Who's taking this? It's Fratesi. Fratesi. Let's blast this to the top left, buddy. Beautifully. Beautifully taken. Now, if I save this, they win it all. Zaire Emery. Zaire Emery. Gregor Kobel has done it. Chelsea have won the Champions League on a penalty shootout. Dumia played his part. Cole Palmer did his job. And this team has deservedly won the Champions League. And Enzo... The captain, the world champion, is lifting that trophy with Dumbia stood right behind him, towering over him. Guys, this has been such a joy to play through. Honestly, career modes like these, you got to try it yourself when you get the chance to do so. It is a ton of fun. And the moments at Celtic, the moments at Chelsea really made it worth a watch, in my opinion. Thank you so much for watching. I will catch you guys on the next one. Take care and peace.